Let's warm up the shoulders with shoulder twists. One hand facing up and the other down and alternate. To warm up the lower body, let's do good mornings to squats. Do that a couple of times, keeping your back straight and a small bend at the knees when doing the good morning. Now do twist to warm up the core muscles, the ones that help you twist in freestyle and backstroke. Now we'll do lunges with a twist to warm up the glutes as well as the core. Do it slowly and controlled. Twist to the side of the leg that you have in front. Let's continue with hip circles while keeping your core tight. To make sure you have your core tight while still breathing normally, you can do very light gut punches. While you're still breathing through your nose, do hand raises. and then alternating arm swings just to finish up with warm up. You should still keep a tight core. Go to a pike position and do pike push-ups. Focus on keeping the knees straight and the shoulders tight. Now get into a plank position and walk a little forward with your feet and then back. Your hands should stay in the same place. Your core should be tight. Breathe through your nose if you can. If this is too intense, you can breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. Go as far back as you can while feeling like you're still in control. going a little longer. The next exercise is called worms. Now it's the feet that stay in place and the hands will walk back until you meet the feet and stand up. Now touch the floor with your hands again and walk your hands forward while keeping a tight core but still breathing in through your nose. Again, go as far as you can while still feeling in control. On the last warm, you stay in a plank position and engage the core while you slowly lift one leg. Hold it for two seconds and then change legs. Let's take a short rest while you watch this ad and skip it when you're ready to go again. Get in a four points position and stretch one leg up and the opposite arm and hold it for two or three seconds. This is a balancing exercise, especially if you don't engage the core correctly. So focus on one point on the floor, tighten your core and stretch one leg and the opposite arm. The slower you do this movement, the better.
you can keep doing that or do this variation a little more advanced. While you hold your arm in front and leg up, twist to one side, hold it for a second and twist to the other side. Do that three times to each side and then change the leg and the arm and do the same thing. This exercise works most of the core muscles. Now continue into bare extensions. The knees don't touch the floor. Remember to keep a tight core, otherwise this will become a shoulder workout. But keep breathing through your nose if you can. This is great for breaststroke and butterfly, since you use much of the same muscles in a flow type manner. Now turn around and face up and do a reverse plank. If this hurts your shoulders, hold the bridge position instead with your shoulders on the ground. Now let's go into a one-legged bridge. Hold that right leg straight and lift the hips like so and the left leg stays on the ground. Now let's raise that right leg higher until it's pointing up to the sky and raise your hips. If you can't do this position, stay in a bridge hold. Keep the glutes very tight. Let's change sides. Now the right leg stays on the ground and you stretch out the left leg and lift your hips up and down. Now raise the left leg higher and do another three hip raises. Now we will go into a plank position. From here, we will roll and raise one hand up and then keep rolling to end in a reverse high plank. Now come back to the middle and do it to that side. Now stay in a plank position and do knee to elbow. Right knee tries to touch the left elbow and vice versa. We have another short rest after this, so keep going. 10 more reps. Keep breathing through your nose. Let's take a short rest while you watch this ad and skip it when you're ready to go again. Now we will work with a yoga brick. Don't worry if you don't have one. You can use a book or a water bottle and you can do the next exercise on the floor. Do a hollow rock hold on the brick 
or on the floor for 20 seconds. Ideally, your arms should be in a streamlined position. If you have an object, grab it and pass it from one hand to the other while doing reverse snow angels. This exercise is great for the shoulder stabilizer muscles and the lower back. Try to raise your head a little. Now change the direction of the object. and stop. We will do another shoulder and core exercise. Watch how it's done first and then do it yourself. In a high plank, put the object on the floor at the level of your head and then grab it. Raise it forward and then put it behind your back. Grab it from the lower end, then extend it to the opposite side. Thread the needle and then to the front and back on the ground. We will start with the right arm. Tighten your core slightly for this. Grab the object, present it in front, put it on your back, grab it from the lower end, opposite side, thread the needle to the front and back on the ground. Without taking a rest, do that to the other side. Present it on the back, grab it, opposite side, thread the needle, front and back down. Let's do one more round. Ready? Go! Change arms. Let's take a short rest while you watch this ad and skip it when you're ready to go again. Now you have two options. You can continue your workout by clicking on this video or you can finish up by stretching with me on this video. See you there. Swim fast.